uh, chocolate macadamia nut cream pie. One of Hawaii's many delicacies. I'm a big fan of pie. And pie, too, now that I think of it. As a mathematician, I use pie a lot. Whether I'm finding the area of a circle, or using radiance in some big trigonometric problem. You know... Uh, hang on! Where's my pie? We didn't always have pie, baked or numerical. The ancient Greeks were stuck trying to find the areas of their plates and cups without this irrational number to help them. One man, Archimedes, had an idea. He realized that if you draw a polygon inside of a circle and add more and more sides to the polygon, the area of the polygon is almost the area of the circle. All we need to do then is find the area of one of these many-sided polygons and divide it by the radius squared. Pie is saved! Oh, how do people find out about baked pies? You better ask your friendly cook. So, let's find the area of a polygon in terms of the number of sides. Let's go. Done! Here's my finished formula. Since a polygon is a collection of triangles, as many triangles as sides, I needed to find the area of one of these triangles. This wasn't as simple as you might think, since I only knew the radius and the angle. But using a little trigonometry, and by dividing each triangle into two equal right triangles, I managed to pull it off. By the way, do you notice something familiar about our formula? Our formula looks suspiciously like the area of a circle formula, which would mean that this here is pi. I bet this is how mathematicians first found the area of a circle formula. We're walking in the footsteps of giants here. Let's go test it out. Now, in order to be very accurate with our value of pi, our polygon is gonna need to have a ton of sides on it. A computer would probably be faster than a pencil to figure that out. So I'll make a program to help us out. As you can see, when I change the number of sides by moving the slider around, I can get seriously close to the actual value of pi. I've almost got my pi back. Using techniques like these, mathematicians have been able to calculate over 2.7 trillion digits of pi. Of course, since pi is an irrational number, we can never find its exact value, but we can keep getting closer and closer until we find <gasps> my pie! Thank you for watching. I'm gonna see how many slices I can cut this into.